Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a message for Divine Feminine. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself and the collective. If there's any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there's any right magical spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. All right, Divine Feminines. Let's hop in and get this message. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Divine Masculines, I know you're probably up in here as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. What's the message? Mm. So, we have Silver Lining. So Divine Feminines, there's a silver lining um, that you basically, you know, have seen. There's something that, you know, has alerted you to something going on, is what I'm getting. I feel as though you're going to get a spiritual download. And it, you know, could be about something, you know, alarming, something, you know, that could possibly cause some type of heartache and pain. Or it already has, you know, caused heartache and pain because we have blessings in the skies. So I feel as though um, something definitely is changing and it's because of the truth. So it could be someone changing because you could have, you know, spoke some truth to them. And you speaking the truth to them actually helped uh, them to, you know, possibly start changing their life. And so whoever this is uh, definitely feels like you could, you're a blessing in disguise. But I feel like that you're a blessing in disguise or you're going to receive some blessings in disguise um, because basically you're on your spiritual journey and you're doing the work. There is someone that could possibly, you know, be wanting some type of forgiveness from you whoever this is you know they could be facing themselves they could be facing the truth now that you you know have basically you know shared some wisdom and knowledge some truth with them I feel as though yeah they could possibly be going through you know some type of transformation um, as well but they are facing the truth they're facing themselves and whoever this is they do want you know some type of forgiveness Then we have celebration. Mm -hmm. Whoever this is, you know, that could possibly want to come towards you for forgiveness. Um, they do want to, you know, basically get past all the hurt and pain. You know, they want to heal from all the hurt and pain and, and, and have a reason to celebrate. But there is some type of silver lining. And so maybe, you know, this Blessings in, in Disguise card is, you know, basically saying that, you know, you are going to get some type of Blessings in Disguise because for some of you, whoever this is that wants to ask for forgiveness, um, you know, they could just be wanting to basically, you know, let bygones be bygones so that, so that they can come back in your life and possibly, you know, drain you of your energy, drain you of your, your time, your money. Um, you know, invade your space and things of that nature. That could be the silver lining for some of you because tension is at the bottom of the deck. And so whoever this is, you definitely could have some type of, of tension with this person. You could have boundaries up, you know, when it comes to this person, you can have expectations and standards for this person. And so basically, you know, you need to honor your word. So if for example, you know, if you told this person they need to change um, before, you know, they can come towards you to even, you know, have some type of conversation. Maybe this person is wanting to possibly, you know, change. But at the same time, until you see this, until you, you know, until their actions match up with their words, um, spirit is basically saying honor your word. So stand on your word, you know, stand, stand up for yourself and make sure that, um, Whatever the silver lining is, is 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 clear to you. 
because I'm getting divine feminine that, you know, you're on autopilot. Um, you possibly are abstinent, you know, not having adult interactions, you know, with other people. And it's because you want to reclaim your power back. So basically you're standing up for yourself. You're not giving out, you know, free nothing. Whoever comes in your life, they have to work for it. And so whoever this is that could possibly want to come towards you for forgiveness, you know, this person definitely could love you or, you know, basically with condition so they don't unconditionally love you. They possibly just, yeah, they just want what you have for some of you. Whoever this is, you know, you could have been, you know, in a family situation with this person. Yeah. Ken. So for some of you, you know, it could be a family member. For others of you, it is a love situation. Yeah. And the reason why I said that in the beginning, because I felt, you know, a deceitful energy. And so, you know, we have someone that, you know, is stuck. You know, they're stuck like a caged bird, whoever this is, or they're stuck with a bird. And there is someone that is, you know, giving you the evil eye. And so it's either, you know, whoever this is that wants your forgiveness or um, a third party interference. Because whoever this is, you know, they do feel like that you're a blessing in disguise. And they do want your forgiveness. And they possibly do want to, you know, celebrate, you know, something with you. It could be, uh, you know, a birthday. It could be, um, you know, it's just celebrating the fact that, you know, you forgave them and you guys are, you know, becoming friends again or whatever it is. <clears throat> but this person definitely is stuck. And there is someone that is, you know, giving the evil eye. Um, but I feel as though whoever this is that's giving the evil eye, they're giving the evil eye because something is changing. Mm hmm Shelter. Yeah. So whoever this is is giving the evil eye. Divine Feminine, they could possibly know, you know, that whoever this is that wants your forgiveness, you know, they really do want to come towards you, you know, to basically um, mend the bridges, you know, that they could have possibly um, burned with you. Uh, whoever this is, they definitely, you know, could want to come towards you just for shelter. So maybe this person, you know, doesn't have anywhere to live. And that's for some of you. For others of you, you know, this person, you know, does love you, but they love you with conditions. And so you could be giving this person an evil eye because um, you feel like that they are stuck, you know, in toxic ways. They're stuck in, you know, old patterns, old way of being. And so you could possibly be celebrating your life. Um, I'm also getting to that um, there is some forgiveness that needs to be had on your behalf. And I feel as though, you know, if you do forgive this person or whatever it is in your life that you need to forgive, I feel as though you are going to receive some blessings in disguise. Spirit, put one on blessings in disguise, please. A chance in the wind. Let me get some more cards. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. So who, whoever you are, Divine Feminines, um, you definitely stand on truth. You definitely speak truth. You definitely walk in truth. And you are a blessing in disguise to someone. But I feel as though you are going to receive some blessings in disguise because you have forgiven yourself um, and you have forgiven others or that's what you need to do. You're going to have a reason to celebrate here soon. There is someone that could possibly, you know, know this and whoever this is, they definitely are stuck. You know, they could be stuck in their mind or, you know, stuck in a place or just stuck with a person. Um, and there is someone, and I feel like there is someone that is keeping this person stuck. And whoever this is, they're giving you the evil eye because something is changing when it comes to their situation with whoever this person is. And so I feel as though the silver lining is because you're doing everything that you're supposed to do, um, you know, on this path, on your spiritual journey. Regardless of what the other person does, you're still doing what you are supposed to be doing, says God. And so you are going to, you know, receive some type of blessings in disguise um, for your forgiveness. And it's and it's basically you forgiving yourself and you are going to have a reason to celebrate because there is someone that could have possibly try to have you stuck as well. But you are definitely a blessing in disguise, you know, to someone. Um, they feel like that you are a leader. You exemplify natural beauty. And they feel like that you, you know, you don't have uh, ordinary love. Um, whoever you are, Divine Feminine, you're, you're a one-man band. You are the band. And again, you could have spoken the truth and you to this person and you spoke from the soul. And so they know that, you know... What you said was true, pretty much. And so they want to come and ask for your forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They definitely do want to communicate with you um, to ask for your forgiveness. They've basically, you know, been... Um, dealing with a lot of karmics, you know, involved in karmic behavior. Um, for some of you, they definitely could have, you know, gotten someone pregnant or a couple of people pregnant. This person definitely could be, you know, um, having money issues. But this person does have love for you. And so they, I mean, they do want to communicate with you. They could want to communicate with you, yeah, about coming towards you. Because whoever this is, you know, they do look up to you in many ways. And so um, they feel as though, you know, they would be better, you know, um, if you guys, you know, flock together, whoever this is. So this is a person that's probably codependent on your energy. There is some gossip, you know, about you, about this person. But I do see that, you know, um, whoever this is, they, it could be a blessing in disguise that they want to, you know, reach out to basically ask for forgiveness. But, you know, you are possibly going to get, receive some type of messages as well. Um, basically telling you that, you know, this person wants to come and ask for forgiveness. Celebration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They definitely could be listening to uh, a lot of R&B, a lot of soul music. But whoever this uh, person is, Divine Feminine, um, they feel like you're contagious, you know. Um, they do want to celebrate. They they want to, you know, basically um, come back together with you, Divine Feminine. You know, whoever this is, they could possibly, you know, just want to have, you know, nasty adult um, time with you, if you know what I mean. But they deem you you know as Atlantis so um, they basically see you as a safe place you know as the beautifulest place you know or the beautifulest person they've ever seen um, 
but they do want to celebrate because they do love you. I'm not going to say that they're in love with you, but they do love you. Cage bird. Divine Masculine, so Divine Feminine is definitely uh, Divine Masculine, and Divine Masculine is definitely stuck, <clears throat> so it could be stuck mentally, or physically, or emotionally, or all the above, but I feel like, you know, Divine Masculine is waiting, you know, for God to basically show up, and basically get them, you know, unstuck from whatever they're stuck in but I'm also feeling like you know this uh, the divine masculine um, is stuck with a bird you know with a karmic I feel like uh, divine masculine um, is choosing to make this the last time you know that he is stuck in a car <clears throat> excuse me in a karmic situation I feel like that you know this divine masculine is ready you know to go you know He's ready to go the distance when it comes to you. Whoever this divine masculine is, you know, they could, you know, just be um, hustling and, and grinding, you know, trying to get their money together. Um, but this masculine definitely is an advocate for something. So with that being said, um, there is the evil eye here. Sorry, y'all. Evil eye. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. So I do feel like, you know, there is a karmic that is, you know, giving the evil eye to, you know, divine masculine and possibly you, divine feminine. Um, and I feel as though whoever this is, you know, they could be miseducated about uh, divine masculine's moves or just miseducated, period. Um, but I feel as though they know that they're getting ready to be an X factor or they already are. And so that's why they're giving the evil eye. But I'm also getting to Divine Feminine that, you know, because Divine Masculine is stuck with a bird or stuck, you know, in some type of situation, whatever they're stuck in, I feel as though um, you gotten tired, you know, of Divine Masculine and him, you know, living a toxic life. <clears throat> I feel like that, you know, everything that you have spoken to the Divine Masculine about has been very meaningful. Um, but, you know, Divine Masculine chose to go wherever he chose to go. And so basically you, you said everything is everything. But there is someone, Divine Feminine, that is giving the evil eye. And it's because they know that Divine Masculine could possibly want to come towards you. Yeah. Then we have Shelter. Jay-Z. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, this karmic definitely is mad because they know the divine masculine wants to be with you. Um, and divine masculine definitely wants to be in some type of, you know, contract with you. Um, definitely could be a spiritual contract between you and divine masculine. But yeah, um, when it comes to you, divine masculine is willing to basically retire their old ways. They're willing to give it all up for you. They do want to collaborate with you. And so, you know, they could possibly want to build, you know, some type of foundation with you. But there is something, you know, that you, that you, you know, said to this divine masculine that did, you know, make him want to change. And so there is someone that is, you know, looking at you sideways because they basically know that you were 
a part of the reason why Divine Masculine is changing and possibly making them, you know, an ex. But Divine Masculine does want to come towards you for forgiveness and they want to come towards you uh, to basically show you the new them. They want to, you know, let you know that they now have the blueprint. So for some of you, your, your Divine Masculine has spiritually awakened. And so they want to come towards you to let you know that they now they have the blueprint. Now they know, you know, what to do. And it's because you are a blessing in disguise to whoever this uh, Divine Masculine is or to whoever your Divine Masculine is. Divine Feminine at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. Yeah, because whoever this Divine Masculine is, they've been holding on tightly to, you know, their, the old ways, the toxic way of living. Um, and I feel as though, for some of you, they are releasing, you know, the old ways of being. Blessings in disguise in Sade. Mm-hmm. Two of Cups. So, yeah. Whoever your divine masculine is, divine feminine, you know, you are a blessing in disguise. But I feel as though you are going to get, you know, some blessing, some blessings in disguise. Because you've basically, you know, remained on your spiritual journey. You know, you're operating in your purpose. And so, with that being said, you know, you could be, you know, basically partnering back up with this person with the Two of Cups. But I'm also getting to that... Because you've basically remained yourself, you know, because you know who you are. You're the Divine Feminine, so you're the Empress. Um, everything that took place in the past with this person, you know, definitely could have happened for a reason with Silver Lining here. And so with that being said, you could possibly be, you know, getting, being, uh, getting ready to be partnered up with someone else. That's not for, you know, a lot of you. But for the majority of you, yeah, you're a blessing in disguise to this Divine Masculine. And they do want to partner up with you again. But they are stuck. Forgiveness, the birds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. King of Wands. Seven of Swords. So, yeah. They want, uh, Divine Masculine, you know, wants to ask for your forgiveness, basically for, um, having a lot of options, having a lot of karmics, you know. Um, they took, they were confident, very confident to basically do some deceitful things, um, when you guys were, you know, in a partnership before. And so they could still possibly be, you know, doing deceitful things or coming out of doing deceitful things. Because I'm not going to say they're still doing deceitful things. Um, but they do want your forgiveness because they were operating as a karmic. And, you know, they basically were overconfident. And so they were uh, abusing power pretty much. Knowing that, you know, they wanted to go or come towards you. But they were still, you know, involved in karmic behavior. Celebration. Isley Brothers. Mm-hmm. Five of Wands. So, yeah. So, I feel as though there's one karmic, you know, that they could possibly have some type of family tie with. Or, you know, they could have a child with this with this karmic or whatnot. But, um, they want to celebrate with you. They want to, you know, basically uh, be in some type of partnership with you. But there is a lot of drama. There is some competition. And I feel, like I said, it's a karmic that basically is trying to compete with you, Divine Feminine. <clears throat> and so this divine masculine is in a lot in, in, in a lot of drama a lot of conflicts a lot of altercations and they're stuck but i feel as though god will rise god will you know intervene on this situation and make it the last time that this ma uh, masculine you know deals with uh karmic people places and things 
cage bird, the divine masculine. Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you, your divine masculine is married. For others of you, you know, they're just in a, a high committed uh, karmic situation ship with this Queen of Pentacles. And so that's who this Queen of Pentacles is who um, has a uh, divine masculine stuck. Or a uh, divine masculine is stuck in a situation because of this Queen of Pentacles. Evil Eye, Lauren Hill. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so whoever this is, you know, I feel as though, you know, they could be a copycat of you, Divine Feminine, whoever this karmic is. But um, it's really hurting this masculine energy, Divine Masculine, um, because they basically are stuck because of this person or they're stuck with this person and they want to come towards you because you're Zion um, but they can't fulfill their wishes with you because you know they're basically stuck with this person or stuck because of this person but I'm also getting too that you know it's basically hurting them because <clears throat> they're unhappy and they're unfulfilled with whoever this Queen of Pentacles is And they want to change, yeah, their toxic ways. Because, again, there's something that you told them, which was the truth. And it really hit home. And so, yeah, they know that, you know, they can't fulfill their wishes and dreams with you until, you know, they figure out their life, until they change their toxic ways. Shelter, Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. Ten of Wands. So yeah, Divine Masculine definitely does want to be with you in some type of partnership. Um, but I feel as though for some of you, the, the Divine Masculine could be collaborating with this karmic to cause, you know, obstacles and challenges. And that's not for everybody. But for the, for the majority of you, um, Divine Masculine does want to come towards you to collaborate with you. Possibly build, you know, uh, you know, start a business or um, just basically uh, represent the new them to you. But there is someone that is, you know, causing obstacles and challenges for this to happen. Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. And then there's someone back here that is distracting, keeping this masculine all up in their heads. Yeah. <clears throat> Divine Feminine, the Empress. And so, with that being said, yeah, yeah. But I'm also getting too with this Five of Swords and the Empress that whatever you said has this mas divine masculine thinking. They think all day and all night about what you basically shared with them, and I feel like it's the truth. And you know, whatever that whatever it is that you spoke definitely was supposed to help them create some type of balance in their life. Yeah, because you spoke the truth, Ace of Swords. And you could have possibly told them, yeah, that they needed to end their toxic ways, that in their in the uh, old ways, stuck, uh, stop being stuck, you know, in the past, and heal. And so I feel like because you did that, um, you're going to be receiving some blessings in disguise. And I feel like you've healed. And, you know, Divine Masculine could possibly, you know, be healing. And so with the Four of Swords here, they're praying that they can, you know, take a leap of faith to come towards you. But for some of you, they are stuck because of a karmic. For others of you, they're not even stuck. They're just creating illusions, you know, in their own mind. Mm -hmm. But you know this, though. Yeah, and so basically you analyzed, or you're going to, you know, and uh, you're going to analyze, or you've already analyzed the past, and it it's something is going to be revealed to you. 
but I'm also getting for some of you, you know, this divine masculine has uh, analyzed the past and they've basically realized that, you know, they want to be happy. But, you know, and that's not for everybody. But you definitely have analyzed the past. And so something is going to be revealed to you or was revealed to you that this masculine was operating in the devil energy. And so with that being said, that's what you could have spoke on to this masculine. And so, yeah, they feel dumb. They feel stupid. You know, they feel like they basically lost. You know, they're all up in their heads because, yeah, they feel like they could have possibly lost something that could have that was a blessing in disguise yeah two of cups mm -hmm. six of swords so yes um, divine masculine does want to come towards you and reconcile but I feel as though spirit could be guiding you towards you know divine masculine or spirit is uh, guiding you away from divine masculine because justice is uh, here and so maybe divine masculine wants to you know is being guided to come towards you to create equality because of everything you know that they put you through five of wands Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And Divine Feminine, um, I mean, you have a reason to celebrate. Your life is good. You know, you're doing what you need to do for your life. Um, Divine Masculine, they do want to be with you, but they are also in an emotionally attached situation with the karmic that is nothing but drama. And so you know that. And with the Three of Wands in reverse, that's why you're not waiting for Divine Masculine anymore. And Divine Masculine feels like because they did betray you, they did stab you in the back plenty, many a times. Um, and because they know that you are um, attached emotionally, I mean, excuse me, that they are attached emotionally to, you know, a family situationship or, you know, just a, a, a love or a lust situationship. You're not waiting on them anymore because you know that they're stuck with, you know, this Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups in reverse. So for some of you, your Divine Masculine is with whoever this karmic is. It's Queen of Pentacles. And they're not walking away from them. For others of you, um... They could possibly be trying to get out of this situation. And so they want to come back towards you. Yeah, the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Cups in reverse. And they want to come back towards you because they're unhappy and unfulfilled with whoever this Queen of Pentacles is. The Wheel. Mm hmm Yeah. And so, because they're unhappy and unfulfilled over there, they want to come back towards you or come towards you because they feel like you're Zion. But they feel as though you don't want to fulfill your wishes and dreams with them anymore, Divine Feminine, because basically things are going your way. Things are going good for you. And they po and they could possibly think that, you know, you are basically partnering up with someone else. And so, they could be feeling the type of way about that as well. Ten of Wands. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ace of Cups. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, they could definitely feel like that you're partnering up with, you know, another Divine Masculine or another Masculine Energy. Um, and so they feel like that, you know, that's going to make it hard for them to have a new beginning in love with you. Hmm. Six of Swords. Yep. 
Yeah, and I feel as though you've definitely been, you're definitely being divinely guided towards divine masculine for some of you. But I'm also getting to that when it comes to you, divine masculine is being divinely guided to basically walk away from whoever this is to come back towards you. Yeah, because we have Eight of Swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're divinely guided to come back towards you and I feel as though God will rise. So with the Eight of Swords in reverse, uh, basically things are, you know, the tables are turning are going to turn for divine masculine when it comes to being stuck with whoever this is because they are definitely being divinely guided to come towards you to possibly ask for forgiveness and so they could possibly be reaching out because you know they are now confident enough um but there could still be some you know some seven of swords energy going on and it could be involving some type of legal situation and i feel as though uh let me see justice star mm -hmm. so for some of you you know there is some some seven of swords energy going on in a legal situation you know but it's going to be healed and it does have something to do with you and this divine masculine for others of you um divine masculine you know they're confident enough to reach out to you um to basically ask for forgiveness because of all the deceit they do want to bring justice to you and they do want to heal so that you guys can, you know, partner up and collaborate. But there are some obstacles and challenges in the way for a new beginning in love, which I feel like God is going to clear out. You're going to have a reason to celebrate. And, you know, it could be because, um, you know, this divine masculine really is changing their life and really is doing the work. Um... And so, yeah, whatever competition, whatever conflict, whatever, you know, whatever this Five of Wands energy is, it's going to be cleared out because the Three of Wands is in reverse. So Spirit says you're not going to have to wait anymore. Whoever this is, you know, this karmic that's given the evil eye, um, basically everything is everything, says God. And with that being said, they're not... They weren't in this divine masculine's life to fulfill wishes and dreams. They were in this divine masculine's life to basically um, teach this uh, divine masculine and karmic lessons. And so their time is up. And now it's time for, you know, what's really supposed to be going on. What God really ha uh, has planned. Three of Wands in reverse. Mm-hmm. Page of Swords. So, yeah. And I feel as though Divine Masculine is definitely ready to be with you. Um, and whatever emotional attachment he has with whoever this is, he's not waiting for this anymore. He's not, you know, he doesn't want to deal with that anymore. And so, whoever this karmic is, they're watching you, giving you the evil eye because... You know, you basically have educated this masculine, you know, about the truth, about whatever you did. And it's not um, benefiting this person. And so this person could possibly get karma because they could possibly be planning and plotting on you. You've already been through a lot with this um, divine masculine. And that's why you definitely ended it. But I'm also seeing, too, that, yeah, divine masculine has been through a lot with whoever this is. And divine masculine has definitely ended it with this person. Yeah, Divine Masculine definitely wants to come in quickly um, to basically reveal the new them to you, like I said. But you're guarded. You're guarded. You're guarded. You're guarded. And I feel like that Divine Masculine does want to come and offer you this big offer or they want to or you're going to get some type of financial blessing. And it's because you've changed your toxic ways and it's because someone definitely tried to tear you down. 
So it could be the karmic. And so the divine masculine is possibly like getting the spiritual downloads and messages that this is going on. And so he's like, what? What? Mm hmm. I was attached to this person. I was giving to this person or, you know, whatever the situation is. Yeah. You're definitely going to get success and victory, though. Because of your strength. Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah. So, yeah. Divine Masculine definitely is coming back. Definitely coming back. Definitely walking away from the past to come back towards you. Six of Cups. Two of Wands in reverse. Yeah. And and Divine Masculine is not at a crossroads. They do want a, a new beginning in love. The Wheel. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They want to come back towards you because they see that, you know, you are doing everything that you need to do. Everything is going good in your life. You know, you're focused on yourself. You're loving on yourself. And so, you know, you could possibly be getting some type of financial blessing for some of you. For others of you, um, basically, you're showing Divine Masculine better than you can tell Divine Masculine. But Divine Masculine does want to bring forth some something tangible to you. Or Spirit is going to bless you with something tangible for you being you. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups in reverse. So, yeah. For some of you, when it comes to... Um, your divine masculine. Um, they want to show you that they don't have any options anymore. They want to show you that they just want to be happy with you. Ace of Cups. Yep. Because they do see you as their divine counterpart. So for some of you, you could be, you know, their twin. The lovers. Mm hmm Yeah. But they definitely broke your heart and they know it. They know it. Yeah. And they're praying that you will basically allow them to come towards you, um, you know, to ask for forgiveness because they are ending things in their life. You know, they're seeing through the fog. And they do want a new beginning. And are, they are ready to take a leap of faith. So Divine Feminines, let's clear this canvas so that we can keep going. But yeah, Divine Masculine isn't at a crossroads when it comes to the past. Um, they're definitely coming back towards you regardless of this Queen of Pentacles. Um, they're definitely trying to end, you know, whatever they have going on with this Queen of Pentacles. But I do feel like that, you know, whatever this is, it's been going on for a long time. So, we're just going to see. Let me see. Yeah, Divine Feminine, yeah, you felt like you were betrayed by Divine Masculine, so you definitely did walk away. You know, you could have had, you know, a lot of bad things to happen, you know, in the situationship between you and Divine Masculine. Um, and I, But I feel like, you know, that Divine Masculine definitely is in some type of, you know, abusive situationship with this karmic. And so they definitely want to be free. They definitely want to come towards you. Um, because basically you guys have possibly grew up together. So they've seen you, you know, in your teenage years and your adult years. And they feel as though basically, you know, they messed themselves over. But they do want to start over. They do know that it's, you know, life after an ending. And, you know, basically they want one more chance with you. They feel as though, you know, whatever you guys have went through could possibly, you know, be a story. So they could possibly want to write a book, you know, about you and their life, you know, all the drama or whatever. You know, they could possibly want to basically write a book. Yeah. 
they know that you're unique and original but um divine masculine was definitely you know basically living a toxic immature life because they were basically stuck in the matrix and they were stuck in the matrix because basically they um were raised you know in a certain way and so they could have possibly been possibly been raised you know a lot uh, around a lot of weapons drugs you know people going to prison broken homes you know their siblings just taking care of them so it could have created you know some type of anger issues um and so whoever this divine masculine is they could live you know like a godfather life or whatnot but you have shared some type of knowledge with this masculine and it is about you know their life and so god is intervening on the situation and so basically you could possibly be wanting to know what this masculine is waiting for when it comes to basically you know wearing their crown it's because someone is basically um has your person backed in a corner with bad boys here definitely could be some type of investigation or this karmic has this the bad masculine stuck again in a legal situation they know that the grass wasn't greener on the other side and they're ready to do the right thing. All right. I just had to get that out because I seen you, Divine Feminine, on the bottom of the deck. So I had to see what was going on. And I feel like the silver lining to this is that, you know, everything that you are going through or have went through, um, I feel like that you were supposed, this was supposed to happen. All of this was supposed to happen. As cliche as that might sound. Yeah, the time is now. Spirit, what else do the divine feminists need to know? Yeah, the time is now. Why is time is now here, Spirit? Uh, for divine masculine to end um, being in a karmic contract for money with this karmic. Silver lining. Mm -hmm. There are some false allegations and false charges that have taken place somewhere. So I feel as though someone is getting ready to be found to be guilty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and someone is crying over spilled milk. So I feel like it's the karmic. The time is now for them to get, you know, what what spirit has for them. Um, so wh whoever this karmic is, they could have basically told some lies on Divine Masculine and possibly you, Divine Feminine. Um, but it could have backfired. And so now they're crying over spilled milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the truth and clarity came out about this legal issue. So it was found out that someone was definitely lying. Well, the time is now that someone is going to be found to be a liar in a legal issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are paperwork, documents, and evidence that support that someone definitely lied in a legal issue. Your truth and clarity is going to come from your intuition. Mm -hmm. And your intuition could have basically been telling you that, you know, someone was trying to retaliate on you. Yeah. To steal. And so they could have tried to lie and say you stole something from them. No. No, the guy came in. Yeah. So Spirit is saying reject um, this energy to protect yours. 
But there is some communication coming in about it. Time is now. Because of some type of conflict and co uh, conflict and altercation, someone is definitely crying over spilled milk. Crying over spilled milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they were focused on the wrong things. They thought they weren't going to get caught. But there are paperwork, documents, and evidence to basically prove that someone was um, lying and possibly stealing. And so someone definitely regrets um, the fact that they did this. Wow. False person in the karmic. Mm -hmm. there was, there's some paperwork, in, some paperwork, documents, and evidence that this false person, this karmic, did try to steal. From you or Divine Masculine. Comment contract for money. Mm -hmm. Now someone wants to go down a different path and bring forth some truth and clarity. They're f they feel like they should have listened more and talked less because your intuition definitely told you um, whatever it told you or it's going to. And so you begin the healing process. And so a part of that is rejecting, you know, any toxic energies to protect yours. False allegations, false charges. Mm -hmm. Toxic energy. So, yeah, definitely the false person, the karmic. Legal issue. Real love. So that's, I, I feel like that's you, Divine Feminine. So basically, um, whoever this is could have possibly lied on you and said that you were toxic or whatever in this legal issue, but it turns out that you were the real love. And so because not, none of this has worked or, you know, none of whatever they did in the past worked, they're really trying to, you know, steal from you. They're really trying to do some something illegal that they are going to be caught for. Retaliation. Yeah. Suffering in silence. So for some of you, this karmic try to steal from, you know, try to create some type of conflict or altercation with your person. Um, but the karmic is crying over spilled milk because they were focused on the wrong things. And so they didn't know that there were going to be paperwork, and doc paperwork, documents, and evidence that was brought to the table about them basically stealing. And so now Divine Masculine is realizing that they're in a karmic contract for money. They want to go down a different path. They want to basically come forth with some truth and clarity. They should have listened more and talked less, you know, because now they're using their intuition and their healing. And they're basically rejecting this karmic to protect, you know, their energy. This karmic definitely is lying in a legal situation. And it's because Divine Masculine has a real love. It's not them. It's you, Divine Feminine. And so, yeah, this karmic, this false person definitely retaliated or, is, or you know, is going to retaliate on Divine Masculine and possibly you, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine is suffering in silence. Um, and, there, and, and there is some communication coming in from Divine Masculine. And also, possibly, uh, Divine Masculine wants to communicate about... Um, getting some money from a court situation. So Divine Masculine could possibly, you know, be getting some type of settlement from this legal issue. Regret and guilt. Yeah. Divine Masculine definitely wants to communicate because they are regretting what they did. And they feel guilty because they know that you're their twin flame. They know that you're their divine counterpart. Divine Feminine. Yeah, and so I feel as though, Divine Feminine, you definitely did speak some truth. And you spoke some truth about Divine Masculine playing on your emotions. And so definitely regret the fact that they did it because they know that you're their Divine Counterpart. 
and they were playing on your emotions. Wow. Hidden child and hidden pregnancy. So for some of you, yeah, this third party, this karmic, this false person definitely could be pregnant. Um, third party. Or it could just be uh, uh, not even this person. It could be a, another third party interference. Um, but they definitely are planning and plotting on you as well, divine feminine. And so for some of you... Um, walking away so yeah this third party this false person this karmic what I was getting ready to say um, they definitely are pregnant or they definitely have already had a child and they try to hide it from divine masculine and so divine masculine could have found out and so with that being said this uh, third party is planning and plotting on you because divine masculine is walking away from them yeah for some of you um divine masculine definitely was married to this person from the past so they're walking away from the marriage from with the person from the past definitely seeing through the fog now mm -hmm. definitely could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio current masculine stuck in their old ways so yeah and then we have 999 ending so whoever this third party is whoever this karmic is um, this divine masculine was married was uh, some of your divine masculines are, were married to this person and so they're walking away from this marriage and this person somebody is a water sign cancer Pisces Scorpio but whoever this third party is, they try. They were trying to keep your your ma your divine masculine or karmic masculine. They were trying to keep, you know, your your masculine, your divine masculine stuck in their old ways. And so, yeah, there is an ending. You could be an air sign, divine feminine, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Then we have Earth sign. So that's the Queen of Pentacles, and they know they chose the wrong path. Divine masculine did. He, uh, the karmic sees you as competition and the karmic is definitely a control freak. You're definitely protected. Your masculine, divine masculine definitely is going through some type of transformation or to some type of spiritual awakening and everything is backfiring. The tables are turning on whoever this karmic is because there is an investigation going on. And I feel as though whoever this karmic is, they were messing with you on your spiritual journey. And so they could have possibly been stealing, I don't know, your identity or something to basically, you know, get money. And so you weren't the only one that they were doing this to or this karmic was doing this to. And so for that being said, everything is backfiring, the tables are turning, and this karmic is definitely under karma, going through judgment. The divine masculine is surrendering to spirit, but there is some identity theft going on. So, Divine Feminine, let's get some wisdom of the Oracle messages, and then we'll be done. What else do the divine feminine need to know, spirit? All that glitters. So, yeah. Definitely, you know, could be a blessing in disguise. Um, you, uh, this definitely could be, you know, a divine um, counterpart situationship that 
you know, is protected under spirit because spirit wants you and the divine masculine to be together. But I'm also getting to that, you know, um, divine masculine is basically seeing that all the glitters isn't gold. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. And so with that being said, now divine masculine is possibly wanting to do everything by the book. And it's because of the higher power. It's because now they're spiritually awakened. Now they're getting on their spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a change in the wind at the bottom of the deck. Now everybody can just breathe, you know? Everybody can just take a big deep breath. Yep. Because things are getting ready to be regenerated. Because <laughs> divine timing is definitely at play. And so with that being said, divine masculine knows, divine feminine, that, yeah, it's time to go. It's time to come towards you. Mm -hmm. Live in the here and now. Yeah, because Treasure Island is where, you know, Divine Masculine wants to be. And Divine Masculine knows that. Yep. So that they can have a new life. You can have a new life. Everybody life good. Yep. And so, yeah, definitely coming with no mask on. And all truth will be told. Mm-hmm. And he's going to basically tell you, yeah, that he was between two worlds, dark and light. Um, and it's just to be fair, to bring some justice because, yeah, Yin... <laughs> yeah he divine masculine does want to basically um hold themselves accountable for you know creating the blockages but they but they are changing and they're thinking you know of you know milk and honey they're thinking of basking in your you know pure loving energy why because there's no place like home So Divine Feminines, that's been your message. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.